everyone welcome back back to my channel it's the only with thrifty divas and this is a continuation part two of a double feature if you will of my thrift store haul so if you missed part one that was just posted along with this one and that was savers and now we are continuing with my privately owned thrift store i may have said dollar store in my last haul because it rolls off the tongue easier but my privately owned local thrift store which is island thrift i did manage to go on wednesday so there were um six half price tickets which three really matter the most for me um usually but uh yeah so go check out that one if you haven't and before we begin don't forget to hit that subscribe hit that thumbs up leave any comment at all for the algorithm because youtube loves that sort of stuff and don't forget as always to tell me anything you know and what you think the overall deal of the day or general find of the day from this portion of our double feature thrift store haul was so let's just jump right in i did mention in the First, the savers portion of this thrift store haul um, that I am beginning to pick up some Christmas presents when I find them. So there are some things as well for Christmas for people in this haul as well. So let's begin. First thing is a Christmas present for little man that I picked him up. Um, I did check these out on eBay. They're running around $10, it appears. I did pay full price, $2.99. Yellow was not half price this time around. It was... Um, blue green and orange and the sun is getting weird and we just started um but i thought that 2.99 full price for this was totally fine it is a creatology 100 piece art set and it is brand new and every single item is in here along with the little paintbrush brand new never used any of it even has the paper pad so you get everything craypaws or i'm sorry oil pastels um crayons colored pencils markers watercolors a sharpener a brush and a little tiny pad so 2.99 and that is our first christmas present of this haul now the next thing i picked up i don't know why i picked it up i just kind of had to um, I just thought it was, it was kind of crazy because it's old. So this is, again, I have not had any time to look this up, but I will. This is from 1977, made in Japan. Looks like, um, Piero, it says original Piero de Pierre. Koji Murai, I don't really know, but it, I think it's missing a, a drawer, unfortunately, but still, I don't know what this is. There's like a metal piece hanging out over here, but anyway, his foot is present. It is behind his leg, okay? I can't. I don't, maybe it's supposed to be there, not quite sure, but I cannot for the life of me get it down. So I feel like it's supposed to stay there, but. this actually glass I feel like it might actually be glass which is even cooler that it survived this long but you see I and it plays send in the clowns it sounds like right tell me what you know I will look it up I just wish that leg would come down. Because I did mess with it in the thrift store and I got the one down and then it went, the other one went up. So <laughs> I got all excited that I got them both down for a split second, but then the other one went up. And I wanna like jostle it without ruining it. So I don't know, but all right, moving on. 
two more Christmas presents. Let me put him inside because he's just gonna play for a very long time. I just wanna show you, I got it. I finally got it. Very excited, okay. Okay, moving on, another Christmas present I got from my hubby. This huge Sports Illustrated book. It was $8.99, half price, so it was $4.50. I wonder if there's a retail on it. $32.95 US, big, huge, heavy coffee table book. Sports Illustrated, football's greatest. The quarterbacks, the teams, the rivalries, the plays, the running backs, the coaches. And this, I'm gonna look for a year because obviously that is going to determine who's in here. And there's literally no year in here, so that doesn't help me at all. All right. So that's one gift for him. And the second gift for him is this one, which I thought he would enjoy as well. This says it retails for $24.95. And this is the New York Giants, 75 years of football memories, daily news, legends series. And then back here, it says there's all these like sponsors, Chase Bank. I don't even know, but I think he's really going to like this one as well. Did I tell you the price on that? $4.99 and orange was one of the half price. So that was only $2.50. And then I got this for my cousin who's in the Navy. This huge white heavy book that almost looks leather covered, but you know, it's not with this gorgeous Navy symbol on it, this metal medallion on there. So it says the Navy Naval Historical Foundation. And this was from 2000 is the copyright on this. So yeah, and this was $12.99 half price. So it was $6.50. And that is heavy, I tell you. I have not looked anything up at this point, but I will try before I post this. But as always, tell me something if you know it. Then I found this and I thought this was really cool for little man. Here we go. And it is this Hot Wheels bin. You can open it here for more Hot Wheels. I don't really know, don't ask me. And then I think, I don't know what that is. What is that, is that a lock? I don't know what that is. Oh no, well, it alleges it's a car launcher. I have no idea, don't ask me, I don't know. But it says car, so I, car launcher, car storage, I don't really, no, um, it's got a little handle, it's got wheels, and um, it is made by Hot Wheels. So I just figured, 2011, I just figured he could put all of his Hot Wheels in here and have them in one place. And this was a $1.99 full price. And I thought that was totally fine. Next, this is um, another Christmas present. And I cannot, I tried to look this up already. I cannot find it anywhere, anywhere. I even went to Fall, Falls Graph's website, nothing. Can't find it anywhere. It is this hanging Falls Graph bird feeder, Sedona. Um, I don't know, 2007, that might be why. So this was $14.99 half so 750 i got it as a, a christmas present for my aunt one of my aunts and i hope it's an i hope it's good it is i pulled this out already to take a peek it's totally originally sealed up it makes a lot of noise but i'm hoping that's just the chain for the bird feeder to hang but yeah 750 i thought that was a gorgeous gift so that is for her. Next, I picked up this metal basket type thing. 
Um, and this was $3.99 half price, so it was $2. I'm gonna use this to make my gift basket for the like Greek themed frappe one that I had told you about. Um, I decided to pick this up and use this as the base of it because I thought it was very pretty and special looking and you can reuse it. So $2 for that. This is like one of the, I think, two things that I got myself in this haul. You ready? Oh my goodness. Okay. It's metal. It's got a pig. It's got black and white buffalo plaid. It has everything I love. And it says original artwork by Ann Tavaletti, licensed by Wild Apple. This metal pan tray thing, $1.99. If you thought there was any chance in the world's creation that that was not coming home with me, I mean, come on. Okay. Then I found this and grabbed it for a little man. I don't even know if he actually saw it, but um, I, I know it takes batteries of sorts, so I don't really know what's going on. I don't see any type of button. I don't, I not quite sure but anyway it's this spider-man with this whole thing going on here and he's got a pack see it looks like that was like the tab maybe for the button cells um i don't know i'm gonna have to unscrew this and check it out i i literally do not see any type of like button i don't know but this was $2.99 full price, and I thought that was uh, totally fair. So we grabbed that. Then I picked up these shoes for my stepfather as a Christmas present. They look pretty much brand spanking new to me. I mean, more or less, maybe not. No, they were worn a little bit. He doesn't care, though. Um, and this is by Sun Steps Hand Woven. And these were $10.99 half price. So these were $5.50. And I think he's really, really going to like those. Next, I picked up another present. This is by Melanco, the Keeper of Memories, it says. It is an acrylic R with a picture frame. And it can be vertical or horizontal, 4 by 6 frame. And this was $2.99 half price. So it was only $1.50. So I picked that up um, as a Christmas present. All right, another Christmas present for my hubby. Um, normally the stripes don't matter to me, but this time it did. So these were $18.99. The brown stripe was half off. So $18.99, $9.50. And these are Nordica sweatpants. Tag still on, brand new, you know. So yes, little little Christmas present for hubby. They feel very warm and fuzzy. And then just for now, to have these were fourteen ninety nine half price, so they were seven fifty. These are Under Armour, and they're just kind of like windbreaker pants. And they have a zipper on the bottom. He likes these pants for, for work early in the morning or, you know, for doing work in the yard or whatever. So I think he'll really like those for now. Then I picked this up for Little Man. This was $6.99, half price, so it was $3.50. Can you tell I'm a little excited about the summer? Yeah, always. So it's this adorable little towel that says Little Sunshine. And it's one of those like cape ones, like poncho ones with a hood. And it's got suns all over it. It looks brand new. Maybe because it is microfiber and my fingers are getting stuck all over it. Oh, look at this. So that's not, somebody probably bought that like on vacation or something. All right. 
So that's for little man for summer, for the beach. Counting down, counting down. Okay, and then I got this for myself too. I just thought it was great to have $6.99, half price $3.50. I didn't even try it on. I just thought it was super cute and kind of unique. So, and it is Style & Company. Now, I don't like cold shoulders. I don't, I just don't at all. I don't, no offense to anyone. I just don't think they're flattering on anyone. I think they make you look wider. Um, but anyway, okay. But this is, I figure under a suit jacket or something, it'll be fine. So this is connected. This is like buttoned on. Can you see that? This really pretty scarf with these tassels. So I thought under a suit jacket, no one will know it's cold shoulder. And just very interesting, 350, why not? Picked it up. And you don't need necklaces. It's done for you, you know? Next, I picked up, do I need another one? Nope, not particularly, but I thought it was cool and it was only 99 cents. So this is a little like lunch kit. It's got four clips on it. Um, I don't see microwavable, PBA free, dishwasher safe. I don't see a brand on it. It's got a nice seal on it. It's got a little spork and a knife built into the lid. Then it's got portions here and a little sauce cup. So this is a great salad container because you can put toppings here and your dressing, obviously, but I can work it for other things in little man's lunches, I think. And you got your big compartment down here. So I just thought this was really awesome for 99 cents. And uh, yeah, so I got it. And now that I'm thinking about it, I might end up giving that to my stepfather for Christmas because I think it's perfect for him. So that might actually go to him. I had a whole new train of thought here, but I think it's going to go to him because he brings like really complex salads that he makes to work for lunch every day. And he's always looking for some proper setup. And I think I might have just opened up a whole new world for him. So, okay. Next, I got two pairs of shoes for little man that are still slightly large. So that is good. Um, slightly more dressier. So one is from um, Children's Place. These were $12.99 full price, but they're dress shoes and he has none that fit him right now. That's the ones I have the most problems with, I guess, because we don't wear them that often, but every time he needs them, they're always too small, whatever we have. So I thought these were perfect. Again, the suits that I was talking about in the, in the last haul for all of those events and things like that, perfect. $12.99. I know, I know, but whatever. And then these were $12.99 half price, also still a little large, but these are little Sperry topsiders. I mean, these look amazing. They were probably, they probably got too small for the kid who had them is my guess. So yeah, little boat shoes, Sperry's. I love them. $6.50. So between the two of them, thir 13 and like 20 20 dollars something like that right for two pairs so that's great totally totally great then i found this so this is like i don't know what you call it not ceramic but will definitely break if you drop it kind of like you know what it is 2004 viacom international all rights reserved it is a little spongebob pump and there's a lotion in it, so it needs to be cleaned out, but it does work. And this was only $1.50. So I got this for lotion for little man's room because I would have regretted not getting it, so I had to get it. I almost put it back, and then I just pictured my, like, future Theoni self, you know, and, and I would have it would have been one of those things that I continue to think about, so I had to get it for $1.50. Okay. Next, little man grabbed two bags from here as well that were not half price. This one was $3.99, like he needs more vehicles? Not really, but let's take a look in case there's anything that I need to keep because the super old ones I keep. All right, so I've opened it. The first thing I see is this um, Coast Patrol MBX plane, no year, plastic. This is a Matchbox Fire Department, 1982. Paint is kind of faded, but Um, this 
2011 Mattel little plastic car. This looks pretty cool. Fisher Price, DC Comics. Oh, okay. All right. So it's this little Panther motorcycle. There's a button here that pops the wheel. Pretty cool, pretty cool. This says made for General Mills. Was this like back in the day when you got toys and cereal? I don't know, there's no year on it. Um, this is like signed by, I'm assuming a driver, Cat31. It's, it has a little signature down there at the bottom if you can see that. But that's that. Then no year on this. I think this is, I think that's metal, a thin layer of metal. This, AvengerRacing.com, Monster Jam. Then we have this Euro Transport Matchbox 2008. Two left, guys. And this is Malaysia Hot Wheels Poison Arrow. No year. That is metal, though. And last one from Cars. no year all right i don't know about the 399 but okay i'm gonna keep the fire truck keep it safe and the next bag also for 3.99 let's take a look t-rex Velociraptor, I'm guessing, I think. Triceratops. Um, that actually has a different name. Something Ceratops. Oh, no. Styra St Styracosaurus. And this doesn't say, but that's like another uh, kind of Ankylosaurus or the other one that looks just like it. Um, this little raptor. And oh, here we go again. Terra by Batat. If you guys watch my hauls, this, this pops up a lot. Manufactured for my son, Joseph. I feel like he has a tiger by that though. I'm not sure. But anyway, all right. That's the other bag for $3.99. And he picked out the <laughs> uh, imported by Sherman Retail Group, Fairfield, California. Made in China. No year. A dollar because it was $1.99 half price. So there's the kitty. I found these and I really liked them. I'll probably give them to my stepfather. These were $4.99 half price. So they were $2.50. They say, I guess that's 11 and a half. Those numbers, these stretchers, I thought they were really, really nice. I really liked them. They just look like older and nicer to me. I don't know. I've gotten them two pairs in the past, but I thought these were super cool. No other markings, so I can't tell you much, but just kind of giving you a better look here in case it helps anybody who knows anything. So yes, that is for my stepfather. Then I got this for myself. This was $3.99 half price, so it was $2.00. Um, I really only got it for one thing. So it has this, which I guess was an attachment on something that I don't have. I mean, could it be used as a whisk by itself? 
Sure. Will I? Probably not. Actually, Little Man might be able to hold that better. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it. But this was really, they just like threw that in there for whatever. But So this is uh, Made in China Stainless Steel. I, I don't know if it's old or not. I don't think it's Bakelite. I think it's just plastic. Yeah, it's just plastic. Anyway, so it's a little snowman. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. <clears throat> but I just liked it because, because of what it is. So, yes, I got that for me. Let me know if you know anything, if there's anything to know. And we're almost done, guys. And I found this, which I thought this was amazing, $4.99 half price. I got this for my stepfather's sister, um, who now, since their mother passed away, lives in a in a facility. And um, the majority of his family has or had had and has muscular dystrophy. So they had some rigged up stuff I saw when I was doing the estate sale for cutlery, you know. Um, but I saw these and I was like, oh my goodness, I am getting these for her and I am sending these to his sister. So this says Salmon's Preston. And they are angled. Really cool adaptive cutlery. So there's a knife. There's three spoons there's like one tablespoon two teaspoons it looks like and two forks so for 250 for all of this i thought that was absolutely amazing and i'm gonna send that to her because you know my I, I showed my mom she's like she can't even feed herself i said she doesn't have any of her stuff anymore so maybe this would help I, it's a risk you know she doesn't want to use it she doesn't have to use it but I thought that was awesome. So I'm sending that to her. Another little man item, $8.99. Why? Why? I have to look this up. Is this like a thing? Why the heck did they price it so high? What the frig? $8.99 half price, $4.50. It's a tie. It's the Beanie Babies Collection, Ringo, 1995. Why? Why $8.99? Like, do they know something? I don't know. I'll look it up again if there's anything I find out or you know. So I think I found out what happened here, guys. I scanned the barcode. And I see this crazy stuff, which is probably what the thrift store was seeing when they decided to price it at $8.99. I don't know what the heck those people are thinking. However, <laughs> look at these prices. Yeah. So I guarantee you that whoever prices at the thrift store saw that. But then when you filter to actual sold items for comps... These are your real prices. So, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. But I definitely think I have figured out what the thrift store was thinking and why it was priced at $8.99. So, mystery solved. We'll work this out together. All right, let me show you this before I forget. So, um, I found this box. The lid is right there. Mint condition no writing no nothing um and 2.99 full price totally worth it for garage organization which is on the list then i found this that i am bringing to greece um made in the philippines so that's all i can tell you 4.99 half price so it was only 250 and it is this huge huge i don't even know how long it is because i can't open up the whole thing by myself all of these little shells attached to this. So I got this to bring to Greece 
to use as a swag on one of my windows in my bedroom. It's going to match my new curtains and my new comforter absolutely perfectly. This thing is crazy. This thing is like 10 feet long. I'm not even kidding. So it's going to be more than a swag. It's going to be a full swag and then hang down to the floor. Absolutely nuts. Look at this. How could I not? Two fifty? What? But this guy was eight ninety nine. I mean four ninety nine originally. Fair, but I don't understand. Okay, <laughs> I just flung it across. The this is why we can't have nice things. Okay, and the very last item I treated myself once again because I thought this was going to be a very nice. Um, court bag just for like whatever files of cases I have that day. It was $12.99 full price, but this is coach and this is real. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I did my, my inspections and I'm, I'm pretty sure coach is, 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 is stamped in there. This feels like amazing leather on the handles. This feels like amazing leather here. I mean, the stitching is pretty much flawless. We got some loose threads coming out. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's a fake, but if it is, it's a good one. And um, I mean, I don't know. Two, two compartments here, zipper in the middle. Also says coach. I don't know. It, like I said, if it's a fake, it's a darn good one. So that's fine. I Whatever. It is what it is. But I don't know. I feel like it's real. I don't know. I don't know. So it's got, I feel like they sprayed something on it. It's got like some spots. I don't think they belong there. It's got like some, almost like an overspray. Only on the top panels. The rest doesn't have it. And then we got this. I don't know. But anyway, it's nice and big, and I think it would fit a legal size file sideways. So we'll give it a give it a, a whirl. Yeah, so $12.99. I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to like Google like how to check the real and, and fake ones, but Either way, it looks it looks cute. I like it, so just for court. All right, that's it, guys. So that is, holy cow, this was long, too. Good thing I cut it into a double feature. So that was part two of this double feature thrift store haul. If, remember, if you didn't check out the first one, make sure you go do that, because there was a lot of goodies there, too. Don't forget to tell me what you think the deal of the day or the overall find of the day was from this haul and the last one and don't forget to hit that subscribe button thumbs up leave a comment an emoji a heart anything i i greatly appreciate it it really helps out the channel and um yeah and tell me anything you know so thank you so much for hanging out with me especially if you hung out for the full double feature because it was a long time so thank you for spending so much time with me I, it's greatly appreciated and um that's going to do it. So until the next video, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you.